today. Sponsored by Bitter Root Furniture. Drive a little, save a lot. Yeah, time for your morning sprint. Brooke has weather in our headlines. All is clear after authorities locked down Malmstrom Air Force Base and area schools for an active shooter situation. A scheduled active shooter training exercise was underway when someone reported a suspicious person in another area as an active shooter fired and nobody was hurt. Butte is letting a gas station and convenience store go up to Montana's last permanent drive-in movie theater. A few who spoke in favor say Maverick will create jobs and that other uses of the industrial zoned area would bring far worse outcomes. So far, Bozeman is not accepting the city manager's resignation after that controversial video leaked of him criticizing the mayor. Commissioners may submit a complaint to the ethics board that could initiate a possible suspension and termination. Bozeman's HRDC has bought a Belgrade trailer court for one and a half million dollars so that it can keep operating with few changes and the residents who live there can stay. The HRDC is looking at long-term ways to keep manufactured housing and mobile home parks in local communities. Montana Tech students are learning a lot in a new relationship with Taiwan. Governor Gianforte had just visited the Cuscus trade, saying Taiwan is our second largest export, totaling $30 million in sales last year. Now, Tech's new partnership has already had a group go over and visit, and it's to continue doing this to further strengthen ties. All right, UM hopes that a new summer concert series with uh, Pearl Jam, Pink, and more will bring in millions of dollars and become a, an annual event. Some of the proceeds will be going to academic activities and programs. And one more story before I go over to Brooke. You can find freshwater cod that tastes like lobster, they say, in the shallow waters of the Kootenai River this month as next as they are spawning. This is unlike the summer when they often hunker down in deep pools or in Kootenai Lake in British Columbia. These are the only freshwater cod in North America. They seek out food like crayfish or small fish in shallow waters. Well, the time is 6.58 this morning. We are waking up with some cold temperatures. It is 8 right now in Kalispell. Bozeman's at 9, 7 in Butte, 14 currently in Missoula. Uh, it does feel colder when you factor in the wind. It feels like it is 1 below in Bozeman. It feels like 5 below this morning in the Mining City. Lingering light snow in the Butte-Bozeman area will taper off as we move throughout the day today. And drier air is going to move in, allowing for us to see some sunshine and a break from that winter weather. That break from the winter weather is going to hang on through your Saturday. Now, low temperatures tonight and early Saturday morning will be in the single digits and teens above and below zero. In fact, southwest Montana will see some of our colder temperature readings as Butte drops to 14 degrees below zero tonight, bounding back into the mid 40s on Sunday with a couple of showers moving in Sunday into your Monday. Daytime highs next week above normal in the 40s. For southwest Montana, 25 Saturday with plenty of sunshine, 34 with a little bit of light snow as we head into your Sunday afternoon and evening. But overall, south Montana. Enjoy next week. You've got sunshine with daytime highs. A good five degrees above normal and right around the 40 degree mark. All right. Thank you, Brooke. NBC Montana is back tonight with your complete news and weather coverage. We'll have detailed forecast for Missoula, Kalispell, Butte and Bozeman. And today is today that the big cinema fest gets underway in Polson with screenings going on through Sunday and then on course through Thursday.